Yo, 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 boys, what is going on? So today, uh, I have an upload for you guys. I haven't uploaded in a little bit, and I, I apologize for that, but... Um, so today's upload is actually something that has been requested for a very, very, very long time. Um, so I'm going to try to do this for you guys, like, uncut. I want to give you guys, like, a full gameplay uncut, maybe even two or three. Depends how much time I have right now, and, you know, I obviously have to get a good gameplay for it. So basically... Um, this is Inside the Mind of Iced. This is a series that x -Jaws used to do back in the day where he would uh, play um, any Call of Duty and he would basically explain what he was doing as he did it and as he played live. So I'm going to try to do the same thing to try, you know, a lot of people actually like, like they've been commenting on my videos being like, yo, Iced, can I, can you do a series where you just knife and you just tell us what you're doing while you're knifing so like I can like following your footsteps I guess something like that along the lines of there so like people want to become better knifers something like that so um I guess I hope that made sense I don't, I don't know I'm kind of a shitty explainer but um yeah this is called Inside the Mind of Ice. um I kind of took it from X Jaws back in the day he used to he used to do that so you know I'm not trying to take any credit from that because obviously I just gave him credit right there but um yeah I'll basically just be explaining what I'm doing as I'm playing I, to the best of my ability it might not happen you know the way I'm telling you it because it's it's a lot harder than it seems um I'll try to get uncut games for it as I said okay cuz I want you guys to see like the full gameplay exactly what happens um so I'm try I'm going to try not to cut it if I do I'm sorry but like I'm going to try not to okay so here we go okay boys here we go this is game 1 first attempt uh this is also my first game on so I may be a little bit rusty. I played like one half game on Meltdown, so that doesn't really count. I wouldn't count that. So um, this is basically my first full game. Oh my god, and already off to a bad start. Um, so I'm running the uh, my Blitz Sniping class um, without any Tomahawks. Holy shit, there's a lot of people here. Okay, so we're going to throw another son out that window. Get that kid. Always go for the kids that are looking for like towards you. Or like, you know, if there's like a kid shooting at another kid, you probably shouldn't kill him until the end. Because he's not too much of a threat to you. Oh god. Yeah, I'm a little rusty. I could have that could have I could have made that into something, but there's definitely a few kids over here. I just saw them spawning over here. A good thing to know is definitely the spawns too. Um, if you know where they're spawning, then you're probably gonna know where to go next. Like, oh my god, look at that. Holy shit, look at all these people here. That'd be sick if I hit a clip in this. I, I'm not, that's not like my goal, but like that'd be amazing if I obviously hit one. Okay, so you might as well flank. Flanking is also a big thing too. So you just saw right there, I went around that, whatever, the little house, not house, but hut, the coffee place, as it says on the top. Um, but oh my god, these kids can't my attack. The coffee place I went around, um, because you obviously don't want to die there. You might as well just flank if you have the opportunity. So yeah, that's basically what I did. And, um, okay. Seems to be a lot of people here. Pay attention to your radar. That'll also give you a hint where people are. Oh my god, I couldn't get that third guy. And obviously spawns, as I said. This is another great spawn. Oh my god, dude. What is going on in this fucking slums lobby? Okay. This is also very... You should probably know the popular areas of where people go to. Like, you know... Um, obviously, that graveyard right there is a very popular area. I see a lot of feeds there. Um, so, if you were to go get that feed... I, I don't obviously I don't suggest going straight in from here. You know you should probably get the flank from either this door or that door. Or not door, but like gate. Um, and you should have a like a better chance doing it that way. And there's a lot of kids here. Oh my god, I fucking fucked that up. See, I, I was going more towards the spawn. You see how my teammates are on the other side of the uh, the map. That means that the uh, other team should be spawning on the complete other side if possible. Or if there's no other, if I don't have any other teammates there, that's why they're spawning here. As far away as possible. And I'm really rusty right now, I apologize. Oh, and a guardian also helps. Guardians can um, hold spawns for you, so if I put a guardian right there, nobody will be spawning there except my team. 
So let's say my teaming my team is spawning all the way on the other side. I'll know that they're not spawning there. Yeah, I, I hope that made sense to you. If not, oh well. But you know, maybe rewind that or something. Cause I was talking a little fast. Oh, that was terrible. I blame connection on that. All right, so I have another guardian. I could put that in another place, obviously, for a. Uh, oh my God, a terrible sun throw. Friendly counter UAV inbound. Okay, so kill a couple people here. That means that there should be uh, they should be spawning pretty soon. Oh my God, I can't believe I didn't get that skewer off. What the hell? Or right, I almost have 30 kills. That's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad for this game. I, I might do another game after this. Um, depends how much time I have. Oh my God, come on, dude. Okay, so. You see how there was, there's a lot of people on my radar right now, or, you know, right now there's UAV, so you can pay attention to that, that will always, you could trust that, unless there's like, there's no decoys in this game, I don't think, so, you could, have, you could trust your uh, UAVs, except on like, BO1, where it's gay, decoys always get me on BO1, because I don't play with sound, which I also recommend you doing, don't play without sound, it fucks me up a lot, <laughs> I think I would hit a lot more clips if I, you know, did play with sound, but it was... It's fine. All right, that's the first game, 33 and 15. Um, uncut, totally uncut, so you just saw a full game. I don't know how long that was. That was probably like five, six minutes, I'm sure. Something like that. I, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that was, this is a kill cam right here. Obviously, you don't have to learn anything from this. Um, but, yeah, I guess I'll try to make a game two. If there's not, then I guess we'll just cut the, the outro. I don't know. Maybe there might be a game two. I don't know. Surprise. Okay, boys, game two on Carrier. I hope this goes well. Um, this is the same lobby I was just playing in, and the kids were pretty fucking, like, they were pretty fucking dumb. So, I, I'm hoping we can hit a clip this game. Um, obviously, if I don't, don't kill me. Um, but yeah. Okay. So, easy kill right there. Nothing really to explain. Okay, so I saw that kid. Um, if you see a kid and he's not looking at you, like, it doesn't hurt to look around also. Because obviously he's probably not going to kill you in the time that you do that because he's not wasn't looking at you in the first place. So um, a lot of times I do that, try to scope out the place, uh, even if I see a person already. All right, yeah, I, I think that's a spawn over there. So carrier spawns are a little tricky because um, I don't know, it's, it's a weird map to, to really know spawns on. Sometimes they, I think they're going to spawn in a certain place, but they don't. Um, but these are the two. I'm going to teach you the main two spawns right here. So this right here is the main spawn. Um, and where I just spawned in the beginning of the game. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So those are the two main spawns. Those are usually where you would want them to spawn to hit a feed. Those are the best, those are your, like, best bets, honestly. Um, that's really where I have all my feeds, like, on this, like, ramp or whatever, like, near that. Oh, boy. Dude, I, I swear my skewer shots are so off right now. It's actually terrible, but it's okay. All good. 11 and 2, not doing too bad. Oh, here we go. See, um, I also play on tactical, so that also gives me, I guess, not really too much of an advantage, but uh, I guess a little bit of an advantage, um, because I can, um, like, I guess, crouch and lay down easier. So if I'm in, like, a sticky situation, just like I, like I just was, um, it's easier for me to get out of it, I guess, in my, in my opinion. Um, rather than pressing B for you guys that play on default. Um, and I also uh, obviously have to press B to knife, which honestly I don't use like too much because I try to, obviously I just try to go for the skewer feeds. Um, so if, if, like I suggest playing on tactical, but it's kind of hard to get used to if you, if you haven't like played on it. Oh, that was a really nice skewer right there. Alright, so looks like they're about to be spawning here. This kid had tactical mask, so I had to act quickly on that. Oh, I thought I was going to get him with that like quick double skewer right there. I wish I had him. But they look like they're going to be spawning all the way like near planes right there, yeah. As you can kind of tell by your radar, if you look where your um, enemies are, or not your enemies, but also that too when you have a UAV. Um, when you look at where your teammates are, you should just assume that they're everywhere your teammates are not. Or like as far away as possible, because that's usually like the... Uh, it's usually where they are, most of the time. Okay. So they're probably coming out of Batcave. Um, 
Um, oh shit, I didn't know he was UAV awaiting orders. right there. Alright, here we go, here we go, boys. Looks like there is something right there. Oh, I missed. Yeah, I I'm terrible. One of you probably could have hit that, but it's okay. I usually don't go for, like, the one man, like, the one person inside, like, separated from the group. But if he's right next to me, I, I will go for him. But obviously, chasing someone down is, is not really, you know, it's not the greatest idea. You probably should just wait for um, a lot of people to die, especially after a kill streak. All right, so listen to this. Right after a kill streak, like, a uh, lightning strike, if you see a quad feed, that means that there are four more people spawning in the exact same place somewhere on the map. So if you can kind of... Um, understand where they are and you know you're paying attention to your mini map and you or even if you have UAV on um, you can pay attention to that whenever there are four people uh, who just died and it would obviously give you a better chance of hitting a feed because you you're, you're going to know exactly where they are and they're all going to be bunched up you throw a stun and you're honestly good to go as long as nobody has like tack mask even at, even then if one person has tack mask you could still hit the feed um, but um, it would just give you a better chance so look out for the kill streaks Obviously, if there's, like, a fucking chopper gunner, then you're probably fucked anyways. You probably should stay in the lobby. But if there's, like, a lightning strike, that's just, like, one-time thing. Um, obviously, chopper gunners, you know, stay in shit. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so if, if it's a lightning strike, one-time thing, and quad feed or, or more is in the kill feed, then you should be prepared to get a feed because there are four people spawning in one place at that point. So, yeah, here. They should be spawning right here. But there's really nobody dying, so I can't really show you guys. Oh, wow. I can't believe that second skewer didn't hit. Thought I was going to get a double headshot right there. Alright, so we got 30 kills so far in this game. Not too bad. I think I'm going to keep, keep this game as well, because we did pretty well. I hope I explain myself as well as possible. Alright, there we go. Double kill cam. 32 and 12. 2.67 kill death ratio. One assist. Not bad. I don't know which game was better, this game or the slums game, but I think I'm just going to use them both because, you know, I, I did talk all, like, all throughout it, and that's kind of hard to do in my opinion. So I hope you guys obviously enjoy this. I hope it like actually helped you. Like I don't know if it really did help you, but like if it did, comment and let me know. Obviously like the video. Um, I could easily do more of these. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to explain what I'm doing, but it's really hard to do it while you're doing it. That's why I never like thought I could do this series. But if I did a good job, let me know. Um, if you want me to do it on Black Ops 1 or a different game, let me know because I, like, I'm pretty good at, uh, honestly, like, all CODs, um, especially BO1, BO2. Um, so if you guys wanted me to do one on, like, Ghosts or something, or, um, fucking, like, Modern Warfare 3 even, like, I could do those. Um, because, honestly, it's, it's really the same play style. You just gotta know the spawns and, um, you know, flank and use your scavenger packs wisely if you're using scavenger. And, you know, I have a lot of tips for you guys. So if you guys want to see it on other games, if you guys want to see another one on BO2, I could easily do that. So let me know in the comments. I hope this video wasn't too long for you guys. I don't know if you guys, like, watched the whole video. But if you did, I am streaming right now. So look look in the description. There's going to be a link there. First, um, like, link in the description. You could just click on that. It'll take you straight to my stream. So if you guys want to come, if you guys watched the whole video, um, you can come to my stream right now. So, yeah. Peace, guys.